888-933-93. Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Let's go to Ed in Pennsylvania. <laughs> hey, Ed. You're on the Hello. blaze. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> I was calling in because I would like us all to observe <laughs> Black History Month by right. nominating Walt Disney's 1946 masterpiece, Song of the South, to the National Film Registry. Oh, oh. this is my buddy Ed McCray. This guy is a Disney guru. <laughs> I've been talking to him every Saturday morning on my YouTube channel. Uh, this guy... I love what you're doing, because we, we actually talked about this at your request uh, a year ago, and so mm-hmm. we've come back around, huh? And and tell us about this movie, man. Because Disney has pretty much disavowed this yeah. movie, right? Well, yeah, and they shouldn't, because there are so many uh, black actors that were involved in this. James Baskett, who was Uncle Remus, he won an Oscar for this role. And right. He was the- he was the first black actor to win an Oscar, wow. and uh, it was an eternal Oscar. It wasn't a competitive Oscar. The left tries to say that that makes it a lesser Oscar, but it doesn't. It's saying that this is the definitive actor who played this definitive role as Uncle Remus, and the only other actor who got that award as well was Edmund Gwen for Miracle on 34th Street, where he was Santa Claus. Mm. You know, and that's uh, a definitive role, too. Huh. And you, you also have... Uh, Nick Stewart, who played uh, Br'er Bear, and he was one of the first uh, civil rights champions in Hollywood, started a theater for black actors, and uh, he came back and voiced Br'er Bear for uh, Splash Mountain, and he said Walt Disney treated all the black actors like they were kings. Jeez. Uh, Speaking of Splash Mountain, didn't they they have to... They changed Splash Mountain, right? Because it was based on Song of the South. Well, they they tore it down. Yeah, (laughs) tore it down. Okay. Yeah, the J- Japanese uh, parks, they're, they're uh, fighting with Disney to keep it. Wow. But they wanna, Disney wants to tear it out Listen of there. That. Amazing. Uh, ja- uh, Japan, the Japanese yeah. version of Disney is trying to preserve our history, America's history, more than we are. That, I mean, that is, that is incredible. So hold on a second, because Daniel made a QR code that links to the National Film Registry. And there it is uh, on the screen. And, and I will also tweet this out later. Look for it at Pat Unleashed. So what do people do to try to get this thing into the National Film Registry? This is a Library of Congress thing, right? How, what, yeah. what should people do if they scan yeah. this and go to the website? You just fill out the form. Put You have to have the year 1946 that the film came out. And you give it yeah. some of the reasons why it should be in the film registry. And some of the films that get in there are kind of uh, ridiculous compared to this one. <laughs> Because you, yeah. you look at the time and place this film was made, no one was making a film like this at the time. You know, Walt Disney was way ahead of his time doing a film that was respectful to black actors and everything, black characters. Mm. And uh, Hattie McDaniel, who was the first black actress to win an Oscar for uh, Gone to the Wind, she's in this movie. So what uh-huh. was what is what is Disney's problem with this movie now? Is it just too stereotypical? Is there a word in there that shouldn't be? What is the no, deal? There's no, no words, no, no uh, uh, racial things are in this at all. It's actually, it ascends race. The story is about a, a man, an elder man who uh, helps a little boy while his parents are having marital problems. That's the, right. the core of the story. It's just the film has a reputation, and Bob Iger is the one that's been pushing all this wokeness. Uh, Roy Disney Jr. tried to get the film released to DVD, and uh, he kept getting uh, uh, stopped by Iger. And now that Roy's gone, uh, Iger, Iger says that it's uh, in the vault forever, and they're erasing everything from this film that exists. Even the song Zippity Doodah oh won an gosh. Oscar, best song. They pulled it from all the parks. They're mm. pulling, even if the, the characters, the, the animal characters, if they're in books and things, they pull those out of the reprints now. Oh, my gosh. It's really ridiculous. It sure is. Wow, man, and yeah, and that's one of the things that 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 I learned from you is that you can really mark in time when the woke Disney stuff really took hold. That, and I'm not talking because I, I mean, we could do this all day. Obviously, we're doing a 12 part yeah. series right now. But but <laughs> but not only did did the uh, woke stuff start, the political correct stuff start in the 90s, but the woke stuff started the minute Roy Jr. died Absolutely. about yeah 10 or 15 years ago, whenever that was. Man, it is it's so sad to see this country because and somebody made a great point that you can parallel the destruction of America with what they're doing with Disney. Sure. It's on the same track yeah. at the same time. It's heartbreaking. But man, let's get this uh we'll tweet this out. Yep. Put that QR code back up there please if you want to. Cuz this this got to be done. It. And and you got to make sure yeah. you list 1946 on the form the year that it came out the movie. Oh, man. And and really, again, 
There, there's no rhyme or reason to this. It, it's just a perception that some people have who probably haven't even seen the movie. How many people who are fighting against Song of the South uh, and Uncle Remus, how, ma- how many have actually watched this movie? Probably very few, if any of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a good song. Too no, bad you're going to be canceled banned. because of it, Chris. Right. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Chris boy. Cruz is yeah, responsible yeah. for playing this. Send the Gestapo there. <laughs> oh, man. More coming up. Pat Gray Unleashed. Pat Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Uh, we were just talking to Ed in Pennsylvania about Song of the South. And if you'd like to have that, it's in the registry, right? We're trying to get it into the registry. National uh, Film Registry. National Library. Film Registry. Congress. Because Disney's trying to pretend like they, they didn't do this classic film. Uh, it's ridiculous. So there's a QR code you tweeted out. But you gotta hit skip advertisement, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When QR it comes code, up, yeah. when it comes up, there's some confusion. It doesn't look like it goes to the right place, but there's a little gray box that says skip advertisement. You click that, and then it'll take you to the nomination form. Okay. 